Hello there, and welcome back to Crusader Kings. And well, the Indian part of the achievement game. We are currently in war with uh, Paramara for the duchy of. Uh, or the Raj of uh, Anupa. We are going to most likely win that. Last time we took out most of the south with a subjugation war, and we're probably going to try and do the same thing here against probably Chandela, and to some, to some degree, Sri Lanka too. It seems like if you actually take their. Uh, well, primary duchy, and uh, no, sorry, not duchy, not raj, not anything like that. The primary uh, title, in other words, kingdom title, you get the entire, well, deal, so to speak. So, we're definitely going to continue that, and we're going to go boost here in uh, in legalism, which gives me uh, nothing. Just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of lessening in the uh, years, so to speak. But, uh, I'm a little bit unsure what I actually want to do here. I'm 34 years old, I have a decent, decent, not good, I have, well, I have a low rate of uh, piety gain, or karma, and I need 400 karma for creating of the empire, and I kind of also want to use my karma for subjugating, uh, well, the neighbors, if you, uh, <laughs> if you believe, to put it that way, but, uh, We'll be using a lot of claims, I think, to uh, to expand right now. So I think I'll wait and uh, well, I guess we'll go with Meldrick, the local dung scatterer. Uh, it's uh, basically just a scheme set that potentially gives me defeat, deceitful and a boost to my intrigue by quite a bit, actually. And I guess I'll go for having a daughter. I can't choose anything else, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, as I said, we'll finish the war here, and then we'll just fabricate claims on everyone we can, and hopefully we'll get uh, we'll get one more after. And as I said, once I get to 400 karma, I will do a little bit of consideration. Shall I save up another 100 karma in an attempt to take out Solanke, Chandela, Pala? Basically, if I should go after the people around me, uh, that is uh, that's basically it. I'll have to consider that as uh, as time goes. So uh, we'll see what we end up with. We did siege the castle here, and we'll be attacking actually basically the equal force uh, without a general in the center, which is uh, horrible no matter how you look at it. But with my 5,000 men in uh, retinue force, I should be able to defeat these guys. Theoretically. Hopefully. Possibly. Uh, we'll ha simply have to wait and see here. We at least got rid of one of the generals, I believe. So that is good. Um, no, we didn't. But there's actually a king this battle. And it's probably going to be my loss here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be my loss here. But uh, they lost lost basically more than me, I think. And uh, did I lose much of my retinue here? I have no idea. I lost not none of my retinue uh, troops. That is good. Let us get the the hell out of here. How much do I get? 162 soldiers a month. I have money, so I think what we're actually going to do it to counter that is. Uh, Hire these guys, four thousand men, to uh, to add to my to my fun time, and then we're just going to slaughter these guys. And then we'll probably just get rid of the mercenaries since I don't actually need them anymore. But uh, all in all, it's kind of annoying. There's two other kings that actually joined uh, joined against me, so they are kind of being uh, annoying. And also to the fact that I agreed to the low uh, crown authority, I don't have a ge general in the mid in the middle, which of course poses a ton of problems for me that I have to that I'll have to solve later but for now we'll uh, continue the war the this guy here is actually pretty damn resilient he has uh, he has incredible defense but uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take him out pretty damn sure it'll just it'll actually take time which is the biggest issue right now the amount of time that it actually takes am I seriously down at how the hell is a battle worth 70%? Well, I can't even right now. So, I lost a battle. I lost a single battle and that cost me 70% of my uh, war score, apparently, which is, no matter how you slice it, in my eyes, uh, ridiculously weird and, to some extent, stupid. But, apparently, the others don't actually think that way. So, I think we're actually going off the captain here. Just get him out of the way. And then we're actually going to march down and get rid of those annoying peasants. Because the simple fact they are annoying. And I'll simply have to continue the siege later. I'm pretty sure at this point I can rely on my, uh, my retinue alone. They should be uh, they should be strong enough to deal with uh, 
Yeah, as I as as predicted him, I reckon he actually did suffer some losses, it just didn't show. So what I think we'll actually have to do here, how much am I losing a month right now? Six six bucks? Uh we need to get rid of the mercenaries, and that is actually most of my army. But uh Hopefully here, getting rid of them will actually allow me to, to some extent, get back into this. The Rebels, of course, is an annoying little thingy that needs to be that needs to be fixed, I need to get rid of. And I think we'll also, once we actually get here, we'll, re, uh, we'll rebuild our, uh, our army here from, well, to some extent, scratch. Uh, but yeah, we'll have, to do, we'll have to join these guys up again if we, if we, want, to do, uh, if we want to make something work here. So, you guys will go there. No, it's shift then, isn't it? Yep. So, I'll just try and set up a path for these guys that doesn't actually involve them uh, horribly, horribly running into people. There we go. Then you can go to the capital. So, yeah, hopefully here this will be, uh, this will solve my issues, but uh, I honestly don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So, I'll allow my troops to join up, and then I'll try to deal with all the annoying rebels here. We'll see. The rebels have been dealt with, and I have 6,000 troops, well, to some degree left, but uh, it's kind of annoying even so. I definitely need to convert the area because it's mostly just uh, Jain peasants are rising up. It says it's a peasant revolt, but all of them have the uh, Jain religion, so I kind of need to, I think, deal with that. But uh, for the time being, I think we are actually fairly, uh, fairly alright here. We have at least a little bit of control, although that... <laughs> I haven't actually seen a 70% battle before. I don't think I have. It's kind of hilarious that I lost... Uh, well, I did lose most of my armies. I guess it, to some degree it actually makes sense. And, of course, I just did... I just killed someone who did the same, you know. And the answer to that is, well... It seems like a good idea to revolt here. He's actually... Is he giving up? Or... Pretty sure I'm actually giving up here, but just to be perfectly sure, I will enforce mons. Yep, he's giving up, so we'll go ahead and accept that, which gives me uh, the duchy. Do I learn to want to learn to inspire? Focus on feint, trickster, defense, focus on attack. I guess we'll learn to inspire and get our uh, well. Um, how should I put this? Get the uh, get the. Uh, the crown laws up again, so I can actually assign my own generals. It's going to be the next step, I think. But yeah, I'm going to deal with the rebels here, and then we'll probably find someone else to attack. I also f decided that we're going after the province right here for the simple reason that I can then. There we go. I can then most likely take Solanke out with a single, uh, with a single, well, far sweep, and then I can actually start the holy wars if I so desire. So, um, all in all, I think things are going well. Although they could probably have been uh, going quite a lot better, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that we'll pull uh, we'll pull something off here. This is the army that needs to rest. This is the army that I need to assign generals to, because if I do not, it will just uh, go to hell. But yeah, I need to uh, I need to rebuild my armies, and hopefully, here, uh, Gondwana has actually split off again. How delightful! I think we'll go ahead and try and claim that. We'll also most likely go after this guy. They have some. They have a mandala here. I think I'll go after both. But first, we'll, as I said, deal with the rebels. So I'll just do that, and then I'll get myself into. Uh, we'll get my troops in position for attack. We'll see how it goes. So I offered. I opted for a war here against, uh, as you might imagine, the uh, uh, Gondwana. I'm a little bit unsure if I actually want to go, just go ahead and declare one uh, pile on myself, because we ha they are allies, they are the same dynasty, so I'm pretty sure they will actually join forces, that's uh, that's almost a given, so I think what we'll do here, just to get a war score against this guy as well, is to go ahead and uh, enact the claim. I'm a little bit unsure if I actually dare use my forces, yeah I do, I do dare to use my forces. So, uh, we'll be raising them up. And preparing them for battle, I think. We'll be joining them up back uh, back here, and we'll be using our retinue for the first walls in uh, Gondwana. But those two provinces are what I will be going for, and uh, the goal, of course, will be to take them. We'll see how it goes. The bigger battles I'll show you, but uh, things like this, 
I think I'll just skip it. We'll see how uh, we'll see how this will actually uh, ends up going. The first siege is over with, and the Seven Thousand Army is actually just uh, entering well the war zone, I guess I should say. We also have gotten our claim fabricated for the province of uh, well, this province here. And by thinking of this, I'll actually have a lot of options when it comes to uh, what I want to actually, uh, well, go for. I think we are first and foremost still going to go for the creation of uh, the Deccan Empire. And the reason for that is fairly simple. I need the Empire title to make sure that I ha can hold everything together, especially if I get Kingdom titles that are gavel kind and some listed about my grasp, things like that. But also, since there's so incredibly many kingdoms that I can potentially have to create here, it doesn't really make sense to, uh, well, save up points and then use uh, 200 karma here, 200 karma there, so forth to create a lot of kingdoms that can, well, easily be thrown into a single uh, a single empire. So uh, I think the first 400 points here will go to that, uh, to the creation of the Deccan Empire, and we'll use that as our, uh, our basis here. Unfortunately, we are actually under attack here by a superior army, and... It seems like, as usual, we don't have a general in the center. Defender bonus jungle. I don't think that is going to be enough. We can probably inflict some heavy, dam heavy uh, injuries, damages on them, but I think it's time to... Uh, I think it's time to bail, actually. Yep, definitely time to bail. Just get out of there. Okay, so I will most likely actually lose the entirety of the army here. I'm getting a lot of kids. How many kids do I have now? <laughs> Quite a bunch. So I think I'm going to start taking the lands I conquer and hand it over to them. But uh, I think I might actually be in trouble here in this war. They do have a lot of troops, but uh, once again, this is a pure retinue. It should it should outdo them in most scenarios. So uh, hopefully here we can uh, we can make something work. Hopefully very very soon. I see no reason to have this, this army standing anymore, so we'll try and hunt that one down. And hopefully here we can uh, we can make something work. We'll simply have to uh, have to wait and see. So, I'll try to hunt them down and we'll see how it stands. Uh, or, I'll see if I can actually catch them and then we'll see how the battle goes. So, they actually did end up attacking me here, which is a little bit surprising. But it also would... Uh, it would seem they're actually using red news on their own here, because I'm... Uh, I'm getting trashed. This is a pure retinue army. It shouldn't, it shouldn't do this poorly uh, against any army, really. So I have no idea. Here. That guy is a flanker, so he should probably not be in the middle. This guy can be in the middle. This guy doesn't actually matter. So I think I'll have to just try and retreat here and allow my armies to, to reinforce. But uh, it doesn't seem like I will be given the option here. But yeah, it's it's kind of weird how my retinue army, which is supposedly strong here, is actually fairly useless. And this is a randomly composed army as well. I'm starting to wonder if it's the elephants that are actually crushing me here. But uh, this is most likely going to be incredible, ex incredibly expensive for me, no matter how you slice it. Unless I can somehow get out of this. So I think we're actually just going to have to... 800 gold. 800 gold. 900 gold, actually. I think we'll just have to surrender. If I want to win this war for Gondwana, then I definitely have to surrender. And I'll just have to take the hit to go to my, uh, to my gold reserves. This sucks. I've been... Uh, how many troops can I raise? About 4,000. I don't like to do this, however. Can I do something a little bit? Roger, where did you... Where did your forces... Can I actually rise anything from you? Well, that sucks. I wanted to set up some troops here to just, well, delay him. But it seemed like this army here won't be getting away. And, of course, I died. He died of poor health. Long live uh, Majara the Fort. <sighs> well, this puts me in an even worse position since, well... Ultimate Genitor is fine enough, but uh, kind of would have preferred him to live until I at least got 400 points, which it didn't. And now my entire, well, I guess say civilization is actually hitting my guts. I don't think I have a single vassal that actually has 
Yeah, it's probably going to fall apart here. I don't have the gold to uh, get away from these guys, and... As a general rule of thumb, I might be in horrible, horrible trouble. I might really be in horrible, horrible trouble here. Huh. Do I want to gamble on trying to imprison some of these guys? I'm a little bit unsure if it's actually... Yeah. If it would actually be beneficial, worth it, but... Uh, hmm. I guess I overvalued my... Uh, my retinue f by far too much here. But luckily enough, these guys are at least uh, pulling back, so that is fine. We'll be trying to join up our forces here and at least win the war against Gunvana. Try and draw a white piece, I think, against the uh, the others. And hopefully that'll be enough, but uh, I can't actually guarantee anything here. I'm losing a ton of money too. I don't know if it's actually because I've overasserted myself, but it might actually be. You are going to be given the... Uh, Kind of PT. And I'll keep the two orders, even though it's probably not my best idea. I feel like Ultra Genitor is going to be annoying me quite a bit through this game, so I think we should try and change to Progenitor once we actually get the opportunity, but I should probably have done that with a small well kingdom at first. I think we're going to be stuck with Progenitor. Unless I can usurp a uh, bigger empire once we actually get to uh, to Europe. I think it buys the time, but I'm pretty sure they have Gavel Kind. If we take a quick look right now, they do have... They actually have Primogen Tour and Elective for the whole Roman Empire. I might actually still have to focus on trying to usurp one of those, but um, I'm definitely in trouble here. I overestimated my retinue, and I'm currently paying the price. We'll have to see how this actually solves itself next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and hopefully, I'll see you around next time. Bye.